Okay, please excuse my like tiredness. I've been I've been up since 7 a.m. and it's currently 10:30. Um, but I woke up today with a thousand subscribers, and that has been a goal for me ever since I started YouTube. And I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for this angle. Do you see this here? With your guys' help, we got this. I don't know if I should pull through with this and just like tell you guys to try to ignore the leaf blower because my window is right here and they enter through a door right next to my window. We're just gonna go ahead with it. Just please ignore it. Yeah, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome all 1,000 of you guys. That is crazy to say that I have like, I was, ugh. that was just one, just like one of my goals that I've been trying to get was a thousand subscribers and I am very happy and like the first goal finally happened. The next goal, I don't want to go too intense. I think we'll go for 5,000, then 10,000, and then after that, 50,000. So next goal will be 5,000 subscribers. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I don't know if you can tell. I'm a little bit like, woo. Okay, before we start this video, I do want to open up this package from White Fox. I had this package in my room for a while because I wanted to film it and open it. I actually kind of forgot what I got to be quite honest. I wanted to open it so badly because I want to wear what I bought. Here you are now. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay, so yeah, I have this package here. It's been here in my room for about five days. I've been having other stuff to film and I have like an actual job so I couldn't actually film this for a while. So I'm finally opening it. I do not know what exactly I got, but I do know it is a collaboration with Sarah's Day and White Fox. Every time she has a collab, I look for like what I like and I just get here and there. I don't get everything. Especially right now because it is summer, she does have a lot of hoodies, which makes sense because over there in Australia, it is winter or fall. They're still in winter, we're still in summer. Once we hit fall, they're gonna hit spring. I only got two things. It wasn't a lot that I got. Okay, here's the first one. Oh yes, I remember this. I really like the coloring of these. Like, I like the, the sandy nude kind of stuff, so I ended up getting one of these. This is a sports bra. I have not been working out. I do love me sports bras. So here's how this one is looking like right now. We'll be wearing this for my skating today. I believe these are biker shorts. And here's how this one is looking like. And if you could see that there's a little bit of ruffling. Not ruffling. There's like lining on it. I don't know if you can see that right there. Oh, what I also noticed is that the sports bra right here does have little adjustments right there, which is kind of great because usually they don't have it. So as you can see, this one right here it is just like a regular, regular sports bra, nothing to it. Kind of similar, kind of not, but doesn't have any adjustments. So I believe this is the first one that I've seen at least that have adjustments to the sports bra. White Fox has a brand I really do like the, their stuff. I've only bought in loungewear and like workout stuff. I really want to get their bikinis, not gonna lie, because their bikinis look really, really nice. They do cost a lot though. That will be probably something I want to get later on. I should probably get it now because we're about to hit August. I'm trying to save up for a new camera lens. So right now I have the Canon EOS M. 50. So this one entire setup that I have was gifted to me from my parents for Christmas about two years ago. It is a really good camera lens, not gonna lie, but I do want a widescreen camera lens. This is a like a regular 15 to 45 milliliter camera lens. So it is just like the one that comes with the kit. It's just like a regular camera lens, but I do want to get a wide lens. That's basically it. I just want a wide lens. <laughs> and I also want to get that as like a little, a little gift for me for reaching my first goal on YouTube. So Coco just kind of randomly came into my room. She was actually scratching at my door and she just popped herself right here where I was sitting. Yes, that was my tripod, by the way. You're usually not scared of the gardeners. Why are you scared of the gardeners now? What you get? You get your grumpy face. What is your little grumpy face? Grumpy face! Here's a sports bra and I'm actually really, really impressed with it because I like comfort. If you know me, I love my comfort stuff. This is not tight whatsoever. It's actually really, really stretchy. So if you have bigger boobies than me, it's probably not gonna be great for you. Um, but for like the itty bitty titty committee, this is a great sports bra for you guys. I kind of forgot to tell you guys something that I feel like I don't think I have enough time to tell you guys. But I'm gonna try my best to tell you guys. Last week, I was gonna put it in the, in the vlog last week, but I was just like, mm, I don't want to. 
I kind of waxed my hair accidentally with my electric face brush i was in my shower just like cleansing my face and then i had my hair pulled up so i don't know how the hell this happened but i have a bald spot right here do you see that that right there it's not a big bald spot right there it's pretty small it was definitely whack it felt super super smooth and like numb to the touch but right now it actually feels like there's stuff growing in there yeah i have a lot of baby hair so i'm assuming like in the shower just sun came out and then it just attached like grabbed onto my electric brush the actual head of the bristles came out like the uh, like attachable came out and then what was left was like the spinning part of the electric brush and it just sucked it sucked in all of my hair and i tried pressing it to stop but like i panicked and i just kept on pressing it and pressing it and i didn't know when it was going to stop because there's like two settings to it chris had to help me out because i couldn't yank it out whatsoever because it was just like literally stuck to right here and i couldn't like lift it or like twist it or anything he thought he saved my hair but like i grabbed it and tried to like tuck it over my head and it just yanked out my hot cheetos i got your hot cheetos oh thank you i was telling them my story of um when my when i yanked out my hair by accident oh that was weird that was weird. He's in a chi hawk, you didn't know. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I don't want you to see my bedroom. <laughs> okay, so it has come to this point of the vlog where I need to actually clean these drawers and they are they are a little bit on like the iffy side because they don't fit anything anymore and I just I just keep on buying stuff and then nothing I do fits in here. Uh -huh. Yeah, also did I just put on makeup and do my hair to clean my bathroom? Yes. Why? Because I wanted to. But yeah, I've been needing to clean these for a while and i just been procrastinating it basically. So we're going to do that now. I am not going to save anything or donate anything because everything in here has been in here for over years. They're expired. They're fully expired. I already know that. So we got two grocery bags here and we are gonna see how much I'm going to get rid of in here. I feel like I should show you a before so I don't actually forget because I always forget the befores and afters. So let's go ahead and show you. Also, we might find some spider webs in here, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, nothing special, but all the way in the back, like everything's just fallen. Here, this is like the middle compartment. This is like for all my hair stuff, all the way to the top. And then we got like this random thing. Up here is like miscellaneous and up here is like my skincare. And in this one, um, this is the messier one as you can tell. Uh, we got some old extensions there, candles, there's some more candles, a lot of candles in this one. Yeah, my bathroom is basically just like a hoarding mess. That's, that's basically what it is. So we're going to go ahead and clean that up right now. And sorry for me moving you guys all over the place, but I have a really small bathroom. So I kind of don't know how else I could show you guys this area without covering it yeah i'm sorry but this is kind of be like the best view because this isn't open all the way so i'm sorry for my small bathroom i'll show you the after yeah i'm gonna try my best to film as much as i can where you guys could see it not that positive if you're gonna be able to see it also i don't have my widescreen lens yet so that probably would have been helpful This one, I don't know how much I'm gonna get rid of. I... we'll see right now. <laughs> Does anybody want any Arctic Fox hair dyes? I have a few from dyeing Chris's hair as well as my hair a few years ago. Don't need them. They're full. They're like more than halfway. Yeah, these are all Chris's, so it's been less than a less than a year. Sharon, if you're watching this, um, do you want to dye your hair again? I'll definitely dye it. I don't know what color. Maybe fun colors. Dude, I have a lot of brushes in here. I need to clean all these brushes out and see what I'm going to keep because... I had a phase where, oh, I didn't have a phase. My friends were asking me to dye their hair. Surprise, they asked me out of everybody to dye their hair, but I'm just gonna like dump everything else in here. 
that I can fit. Also, buying this is a scam because you get little product and it's inside a plastic bag, so. Do you guys remember when Bellamy hair was super, super popular? I still have all the barrel rolls. See, this is the thing. I don't know whether to give these away because I don't use these. I still use the one barrel, but like the thick, the thick one of this one. Not all the times so. though. Okay, we did a little outfit change because I was getting a little bit uncomfortable wearing those stuff. So, yeah, let's go ahead and begin this middle part and see where we're gonna get to. Okay, I think I finally finished. I cleaned up everything. Everything is kind of in like a messy, organized way, but there's no other way I was able to do it, so. Um, but here's the first drawer. It looks a lot better than before, not gonna lie. It does look still kind of messy, but like what, what can you expect from like for a bathroom? I have a ton of mouthwash because I, ke I kept on buying the wrong one. This side looks a little bit more messy only because it's smaller. And then we have a lot of like bags and boxes there that I don't know what to do with them yet. I do want to get rid of them, but I don't know what to do with them. This has all of like my candles and my scents, my plugins, soaps, that's all in there. And then going to this drawer, this is supposed to be my like hair equipment, brushes and all that. Yeah, this is completely cleaned out. This one, kind of miscellaneous a little bit um we got some candles there because it didn't fit these are my invisaligns like the very first ones self tanner mitts that i need to clean out and then we have some the face sheets and then my last drawer i'm quite happy about this is all my um this is all my skincare my toothpaste all of that stuff that's like i need every single day necessities looks messy but for me it's actually quite clean and then for the real kicker first one and no one. They're both really, really heavy. A lot of liquids in it. There's one that has um, pink hair dye that is like spilling. Kind of already touched my hands, so we're finally clean. Kind of. It's it's a bit more organized, but I'm quite happy with that. 